Oh no! A power cut again? It's so dark all of a sudden. I cannot see anything around. There you are. Now you can see. Feeling better? Yes, thanks. But how are you able to produce light? All the lights in the house have gone off due to the power cut. I use electric cells to produce light. Really? Electric cells, huh? Are you as curious as Sunny is? In this lesson, you will learn to identify the parts of an electric cell and explain the structure of a torch bulb. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify the parts of an electric cell and describe the structure of a torch bulb. Hey, who are you? And what were you doing inside the torch? Ah, you're talking about good old Flashy. I'm Cello, the electric cell. I produce electricity for the torch to glow. In fact, not only for a torch, I can provide electricity to a number of devices, such as toys, alarm clocks, pocket radios, and cameras. But how do you make the torch glow? Where does the electricity come from? Well, take a close look at me. Do you see this metal cap? Sure. There's a plus sign just under the cap. That's right. Good observation. This is my positive terminal. Now look carefully at the other end of my body. There is a flat metallic disc at that end with a negative sign just above the disc. Yeah, I see it. This metallic disc is my negative terminal. So, I have two terminals, a positive and a negative terminal. These terminals can be used to connect me to various devices. Now take a look inside. Do you see that dark powdery stuff? That's the chemical inside me. This chemical helps me provide electricity to the device I'm connected to. Oh, and what happens when the chemical gets over? Good question. When I'm connected to a device like a torch bulb, as the bulb glows, the strength of the chemical decreases. Finally, when the chemical gets over completely, the connected device stops functioning. So, in our case, if my chemical energy gets over, Flashy won't be able to provide you light anymore. So, we will need to replace you with a new cell? Yes, so that Flashy can keep functioning. That's right. Did you know a rechargeable cell or a storage battery can be recharged using electricity. Hey, get back. It's my turn to be in the limelight. Hey, Sunny. Cello has told you only half of the story. Oh, and what's the other half? That's me, Chumku, the bulb inside the torch. The cell by itself couldn't make flashy function if I wasn't there to use the electricity provided by it. Oh, so how do you use the electric cell to glow? Can you see this thin wire? That's my filament. This filament is supported by two thick wires at its ends. When electricity from the cell passes through this filament, it gets heated up and glows. But how do you receive the electricity? Well, when the positive and the negative terminals of an electric cell are connected to the two terminals of a bulb, electricity passes through the filament of the bulb and it starts glowing. Terminals of the bulb? You mean you have terminals as well? Yes, of course. Look here. 
See these two terminals. Hmm, yeah, I see them. Let's take a look at what Sunny is looking at. One of the thick supporting wires in the bulb is connected to the metal case that is below the glass covering of the filament. The other wire is connected to the center of the base of the bulb. The terminals of the bulb are fixed in such a way that they do not touch each other. Uh-oh! I had better get back to Flashy. He'll need me and Cello to be able to give you some light. Hey Flashy, good to see you back. Tell me something, the bulbs that we use in our homes must all look like Chamku, right? That's right. Your common household bulbs are designed the same way as Chamku. Did you know, in recent years, a different type of bulb has become popular. A compact fluorescent lamp, generally referred to as a CFL. It is an energy-saving bulb, which has a longer life than an ordinary bulb. CFLs do not have filaments. Instead, they have a coating on the inner side to make them glow. You'll learn more about these bulbs in higher classes. This brings us to the end of this lesson about the electric cell and torch bulb. In this lesson, you learned to identify the parts of an electric cell and describe the structure of a torch bulb.